All right, ladies and gents, many great Heisman here doing my post-game reaction of the UEFA Nations League tournament. Portugal won against the Netherlands 1-0, so let me start off by giving all the credit in the world to Portugal. They have a hell of a team, a very well-structured, organized back four, a very well-defensive team, and Rui Patricio had a hell of a game tonight, even though Ronaldo didn't score. Portugal proved how they're more than just a team based on Ronaldo. They are a complete team, even without Ronaldo. Portugal make one hell of a team so Gotta give it up to Portugal, man. Shout out to all the Portugal fans out there. Uh, double A9 skills. If he ever watches this video, shout out to him. Well deserved win. And shout out to any other Portugal fans here on YouTube. Y'all deserted each and every one of you, man. Props and cheers to all you, man. Um, you know, hey, gotta tip my hat off to Portugal. They freaking did it. They had a hell of a tournament. They managed to win the entire group stage without Ronaldo, so they just showed, proved it why they deserve it, man, let's be honest here, Portugal deserved to win this tur tonight, a hell of a team, and uh, I think Portugal have a bright future ahead of them, they're the defending Euro champions, so yeah, another trophy in the books for Portugal, and uh, Bernardo Silva, he's the one that scored the goal tonight, that was a hell of a goal, Jasper Silison had no chance to save that, unfortunately, but the Netherlands, man, hey, let's give props to the Netherlands too, man, Netherlands played well too in this game, uh, I think that the Netherlands have a bright future ahead of them with Van Dijk, De Ligt, Van de Beek, uh, Frankie de Jong, Memphis Depay, Quincy Promes, Netherlands, def and Wijnaldum, you guys definitely have uh, insane bright future ahead of you it's just that i think the netherlands just need to find themselves a solid striker and then they could uh go back to their glory days like how they used to they could go back to being an elite team like how they were in 2010 2014 and stuff like that but uh yeah man uh pff, great great tournament overall great great game um netherlands listen man i know mate so some of you guys in the Netherlands are heartbroken, but in my opinion, man, you guys have nothing to be ashamed of because for you to make it this far to be, for you guys to be able to beat teams like uh, Germany, France, England is respectable enough. It's just that you guys were outperformed tonight. Portugal were just the better team. So there's really n nothing bad to say about this game. Hell of a game between both sides. In, in, between both sides in the end, Portugal were just the better team overall. But uh, I still think that the Netherlands are going to be a very good team in the future. You don't want to sleep on the Netherlands, man. They uh, they played their hearts out tonight. It's just that Rui Patricio was just a brick wall today. That's all I can say. And um, But yeah, man, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, even though he didn't score, what a night he's having. Another trophy in the books for him. That's like his, what, 60th career trophy or something. Man, I forgot how many trophies Ronaldo has won, but yeah well deserved for him and uh yeah guys so i love this game and uh other news usa the under 20 men's team got knocked out by ecuador two to one which sucks so i really don't know who i should pick to win the fifa under 20 world cup right now since both usa and poland are knocked out but uh yeah and then england beat switzerland on penalties to claim third place so kudos to them as well but hey this was a hell of a game didn't watch the first half, uh, I watched the second half, and it was a very entertaining second half. Hell of a performance between both sides, but in the end, Portugal just managed to get the only goal of the game. Damn, my nose is running right now. Alright, I don't want to make this video too long, so uh, let me know what you guys thought about this game, and uh, talk to y'all later, man. Peace.